Hi, Sagittarius. This is going to be your January 2022 reading. It is going to be general. Please keep that in mind. If you have not checked out the forecast that I've done for this year, I have three options available. They are all in playlists on my website. So I did career and finance um, looking at January, February, and March. I did love for the entire year. And then I did uh, general overall forecast. So those are available on my channel. Um, you guys, I'm going to pin a comment down below like I always do with a link to my website. Um, you can go on there to book with me and you can also subscribe to my newsletter. Um, I will also include links to my social media accounts, Instagram and Facebook, if you'd like to connect with me there. So I want to just get into the reading. Um, you know, Sag, it looks like starting off the year, you're pretty anxious. Um, there's a lot of anxiety. I do feel that as the month progresses, you are going to be feeling more confident, um, though I'm feeling that you are still stuck in some sort of karmic cycle. Um, that and it's almost like it's the it's the never ending story. But I do feel that you're going to be moving through that. Okay, um, so we're starting off with a moonology card, and its emotions are running high. This is a super moon energy. And this is why I'm sensing that you have a lot of anxiety right now. That could be peaking at the time of the full moon. So do whatever you can to like keep yourself in the present moment. Keep yourself very grounded. When you're feeling very anxious or overwhelmed, go take a walk if you can. Um, you know, exercise can really help calm our nervous system. Um, Whatever it is for you, go take a bath, um, whatever is going to help you feel better. Um, because I do feel that for the next couple of weeks, we just came out of the new moon. So we are, we're about a week and a half away from the full moon. Um, and I feel like this energy may be gaining momentum in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Um, with the Ark and the Covenant, this is from the Akashic Tarot. This is really interesting because I want to read this to you. Um, this is about, um, this, this says it indicates that you're living true to your own karmic contract, facing your lessons of growth, working toward greater discoveries, and bringing your unique contribution to the world. Your karma rules you. No, I'm sorry. Your karma does not rule you. You rule it. I feel that the reason that I said that the first time is because this is what you're feeling, is that your karma does rule you, um, but it doesn't have to be that way. You rule it. This says, when the work becomes too great, take a rest. Taking a rest doesn't break with your covenant. It supports it. Continue to work toward your highest purpose to uphold the sacred covenant you have to touch the world with your light. You, um, what I'm sensing is you may be feeling a lot of pressure um, with that message coming through. You may be feeling a lot of pressure. You may feel like time is running out. Um, that that can be um, a feeling for light workers, star seeds. Um, who come to this incarnation, they may feel like they don't have enough time and you are stuck in a cycle and you are wanting to get out of it, but everything will unfold in divine timing. I feel like there could be a shift after the full moon, you guys. Okay. Um, we got a lot of cards coming through for you. I am going to pull tarot. I'm going to look at your life in general, love, and then um, money, uh, money and career. So with your life in general, we've got some really interesting energy. We've got adjacent possibilities. And then we've got Deceit, and then we've got Archangel Shamuel. This is the third chakra, um, the solar plexus. This is about self-esteem, a sense of self-empowerment, confidence, self-confidence. 
So what I'm really feeling is that, yeah, you are stuck in this karmic cycle right now. And it's like you're deceiving yourself into believing that it's never going to end. But there are possibilities for you. There are doors opening for you. You are going to be able to close out this cycle, usher out the old and, you know, usher in the new. All right, sweep out the old, usher in the new. That is what I'm feeling. So there are going to be doors that start opening up for you. More possibilities are kind of going to present themselves to you. But it's going to be important for you to really get out of this energy as much as possible because that is going to just um, keep the flow stuck. All right. With this um, third chakra, this is saying that your self-confidence is going to be increasing. Now, with the third chakra, self-doubt, anxiety, um, old stories that we tell ourselves can all affect um, the health of that chakra. So I would encourage you guys to go on Google, check it out. You may want to get some crystals to help balance that chakra. You may want to say some daily affirmations, you guys. Um, with the third chakra, you could use um, citrine, orange calcite, um, you know, really like any of those of those orange stones, um, yellow calcite even, um, something like that. But citrine is um, is really great for the third chakra. So let's pull a little tarot on your life overall. I did see the sun and the knight of wands. So I do feel like you are going to be progressing. Let's see. And I saw the eight of cups walking away from this karmic cycle and walking toward wish fulfillment. We've got the Seven of Wands. Okay, this can be a defensive energy, but it's also an energy of standing your ground. Um, and then, you know, the next card that comes through is the Eight of Wands, and that is about really super fast progress. So I would say just be mindful um, about any defensiveness that you're feeling. So if somebody says something to you and you are triggered, um, you're having a very strong response to it, um, it's, it's going to be, that's defensiveness, okay? When, when like we, uh, you know, it's like a dog or a cat when, they're, when their hair stands up, that's a defensive posture. And so just be, just be mindful of that. Um, but stand your ground and just be resolute that you are going to be able to move out of this cycle. Ah, of course. We've got the death card. This is about a transformation, shedding that old skin, those doubts, um, those belief systems, releasing this karma cycle that you're in, walking through a new door, experiencing things differently. This is a metamorphosis. You know, there's this story um, about the this guy that tries to help a butterfly get out of its cocoon and it ends up dying because it wasn't strong enough um, to, you know, to live. It was deformed. Its wings were deformed and he thought he was doing a really good thing. But the thing about the butterfly in the process of metamorphosis, it's got to struggle within that cocoon because that is where it finds its strength. That is why how it gains its strength is through the struggle. And this is very much what I'm feeling for you, Sagittarius. Um, growth does not come without pain in most um, instances. But I do sense that you are going to be coming out of this difficult cycle. And here's your card. The King of Wands, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. 
And so I'm feeling that, yeah, there is going to be a transformation. And again, it could be at the time of the full moon around around the time of the full moon or a little bit after i feel like this is happening towards the end of the month you're going to be feeling strong um it's almost like you're reinvigorated you've got a brand new vision for your life um you have a sense of direction so absolutely beautiful now when it comes to love we've got two cards coming through um, we've got this consciousness and its present power. And so again, this is third chakra stuff, you guys. This is So this is coming through in life overall. And when it comes to love, I do feel like you are going to be feeling much more confident um, when it comes to love and relationships. Uh, we do have some sort of milestone. So I feel like things are going to be going very well for you as far as love. Um, with this milestone coming through, this could represent anything. Um, some of you may get into a relationship. You may meet someone. Um, you may get engaged. You may get married. Uh, I don't feel like, you know, I mean, it could happen in January, but I feel this in the future. Now, for others of you, it could be just, you know, releasing this karmic cycle that you're in and, you know, going through this transformation so that you are open and ready for love, to call in love to, into your life. So let's see what this says. Ooh, I just saw the Ace of Cups. Oh, we've got the King of Cups. I love this. Um, okay, so with this coming through, I do feel that for some of you, this could be someone that you meet. So it could be in January, moving into February. Time is fluid. Timelines change all the time. But but this is where the energy is at right now. Now, your choices, your attitude, your energy can all shift this, okay? But with this King of Cups, this could be a man or a woman, you guys. But this is somebody who's mature, very devoted, um, loving, kind, sensitive, um, is ready for something really serious. So this could be a divine partner that you meet. It doesn't mean that you're going to get into a relationship right away, but this is definitely somebody who um, is coming into your life potentially. And this could also be your energy. And as far as your energy, this is like a, a process of growth. It really is, you know, going through that death and that rebirth, shedding that old skin. And, you know, the King of Cups is very confident, has control of his emotions, um, you know, he's been through it. He's he's learned a lot of lessons along the way. And as he's gone through these painful periods, he's grown. Um, and now he knows how to regulate his emotions. Um, and I feel like this is something that you're going to be going through. You're really going to learn how to control your emotions. And that doesn't mean not feeling your emotions because I do not advocate for you know, re shutting, shutting off our emotions at all, but it's about regulating them. And so that you're not in this place where our emotions are like running amok. The next card that we've got is temperance. And this is beautiful. This is about divine timing. This is about a healing. And it also, you know, indicates balance and moderation. So I feel like love in general is going to bring you a lot of um, a sense of peace. Um, so any any people that you meet, they're not going to bring drama into your life. It's, it's going to be your love life is going to be very, very balanced from now on is, is what I'm feeling. It doesn't mean it's going to be perfect and you won't have some ups and downs, but these emotional highs and lows are, are really going to even out, you guys. 
So then we've got the Knight of Cups coming through. And so this is, um, this is an offer. This is an expression and it's another Cups card. So it's very romantic. Uh, you could meet this person and they could sweep you off your feet is kind of what I am feeling. Um, you may have received something similar, a similar message in a previous reading. I can't remember, but there was a message about being swept off your feet. I'm not sure if it was for you or for somebody else. So potentially you could definitely meet somebody um, who's very romantic, uh, really wants a serious relationship, uh, very, very devoted and loyal. So looks amazing. Now, with career and money, we've got clean it up. And this is about tying up loose ends. Um, so as far as money, really think about your spending habits. Uh, if you have any outstanding debts and you can pay them, pay them off. If you owe individuals money like friends or family or anything like that, um, come up, pay them off or come up with a payment plan to, to pay them back. Um, you know, and you just get your finances in order, do a monthly budget for yourself, and then start eliminating the things that you don't really need. You know, you guys, these days, it's so easy to just sign up for these, um, these subscriptions. And it's, you know, it may not seem like a lot, but it's $5 here, $15 there, and it can add up to like two or $300 a month. And so this is really an energy of taking a look at your finances and what can you live with and what can you, what, um, what can you live without? It's, you know, it's about drawing a, a line in the sand and saying, well, it would be really nice to keep this, but do I really need it? And, and am I using it? And is it helping me? So that's something to consider. Now, as far as work, um, the, the same goes. It's like, look at, look at your career and how you are moving forward. Um, are you enjoying what you're doing? Do you wish that there were changes? Are there things that are you are leaving unspoken? If so, I feel like it's time to speak up and make your um, voice heard. Now we do have the five of swords. So I do sense that there is, there has been some conflict within career or about money. And we've got all the swords energy. We've got the page of swords or the princess of swords. And this is an observer energy. So it's almost like there is conflict. Um, there's mental conflict about work. You may want to leave your job. You may not like the career that you're in. Um, this could be a car part of the karmic cycle that you're experiencing. But with the Page of Swords, you, you're not taking action. And so this is, it's going to be important for you to take action and move forward. And, you know, if you don't like the job, if you don't like the industry, if you want to go start your own business, something like that, it is going to be important important to come up with an exit plan and that can take some time i don't feel like that you know if if that's part of your story that's not going to resolve in january i mean it takes time to plan these things i know because i did it i left a 20-year career and it was a year of you know really thinking about it and planning and it's like okay i'm leaving at the end of this year and and that's what i did so yeah, I'm just feeling like it's time to take a really honest assessment of where you're at with respect to career and money and really come up with a game plan because I don't feel like you're satisfied. Oh my gosh. And we've got another swords card, you guys. Um, wow, uh, this is the queen of swords. And the queen of swords is very independent. She's very strong. She's a good communicator. 
And she uses that sword to cut things out of her life. So I feel like there is going to be a progression when it comes to career and finance. I feel like you're really going to get it together. You really are going to clean it up. There's a very determined energy that's coming through. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, anything that's not serving you, you're going to eliminate. And that's going to improve your financial situation considerably. And it's also going to improve your mental um, your mental condition as well. It's going to be very freeing for you is what I'm sensing. Um, now, if this has to do with your job or work, um, I, I just feel like direct and honest communication is the way to go. Um, because there is this dissatisfaction coming through and you know people some people can read minds but most people can't so it's it's really going to be important for you to share your thoughts and put your needs and your wants out there um, with your colleagues or your boss or you know whoever you report to or your clients um, so that you can get what you want and then you can reevaluate and see if you want to stay in the situation if it improves or move on from it so sag kind of a rough reading i mean there's yeah i can see why the energies are the emotions are running so high right now um love seems to be the most stable for you right now and i hope that you enjoyed this um please like share subscribe let me know if you resonate hit the little bell to be notified when i upload new content i am sending you guys lots of love as you continue on your journey bye bye